I already used this pet peel prep once, and I'm going to go back over with the, uh, another swab. Do that again. I'm going to go in a third time with this peel prep. And honestly, for my skin, I think 70% alcohol might work better for me. Or maybe even acetone, because I don't feel like I should have to do this three times. Yeah, I just don't feel like this is stripping my face good enough. Dipping it in. I'm going to squeeze it out. All right. I'm going to do my forehead first. taking a little more and going around in this purple spot this area that I really really need to feel it's burning y'all it's burning good lord it's still burning oh my gosh wow I just got sleepy all of a sudden I think this stuff is making me tired I don't know what's happening, but like I'm I'm tired. Here I go. Oh, I'm finally frosting. Oh my gosh, I'm finally frosting here and here. Oh my gosh, finally. Oh my nose, okay. My whole, I think most of my nose frosted. And there's a little swelling. The swelling is almost like immediate, wow. The swelling is like through here, my whole nose. That's frost. That's frost right there while I'm here. And here, see this right here? That's frost. This is frost. A little tiny bit of frosting here. All right, so the bottom part of my face is still on fire, literally. I'm gonna go back with my on my forehead for a second application. shit and here we go <sighs> the fan just doesn't do anything it's not doing anything <laughs> oh, my God. oh it's frosting a little just a little god lee this is horrible like literally this is torture oh we Oh man, oh boy, oh boy. It's literally killing my face, literally. That's how it feels, like my face is dying. I don't know how people do this on a regular basis. Oh my gosh. Jesus. All right, you see this? That is frost for real, for real. Do you see that? That is frost. Like in here it's frosting. It frosted on this side in the same spot. I don't, know if you, but I don't think you can see it, but this is gonna sound crazy, but it actually looks better in here. My pores look tighter. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. Okay, okay, okay. My forehead is lit. I just made that expression with my forehead, and I don't that made it even worse. If you're doing this at home, don't make face expressions. Oh my gosh. I hope this makes my eyebrows thicken. This stuff is insane for real. Okay, my face is getting tighter. The skin is getting tighter. Wow. Now, 
I'm tempted to do right here. This little patch right here because it's not red and it didn't frost. And I'm tempted to go in right here, right there, and right here, and here. I think I'm going to get all the spots, some of the spots that just like did not really burn. And avoid everything that's red and frosty. It's been close to an hour now. I haven't rinsed my face or anything. The sensation is pretty much gone, but my skin um, has continued to grow a little tighter. I can already see it's starting to, to turn brown here. I know you can't see it on the camera. I'm looking at the monitor and I really don't see a difference, but in real life, it's it's darker. It looks flushed. I rinsed my face really good. I didn't wash it with any soap. I just rinsed it with cool water and I put on this Fade Bright. This is supposed to help with um, any melanin in your skin. Um, that's what the lady said. She suggested to use Fade Bright before and after. Then after that, I put this Retinol, Retinol 10 by Platinum Skin Care. This is my hydrating serum. It's made with hyaluronic acid and mineral water. Embryolease moisturizer. That's going to be like my aftercare, nursing my skin through this for the next seven days. And this is like, this is what I normally use anyway, but I'm just showing y'all what I'm doing to pamper my skin for the next um, week or so. Thank you.